Working with JPA entities becomes much easier with JPA Buddy. To create a new entity, you can use JPA Structure or select the New option in the IntelliJ IDEA project view. You can specify the entity's name, choose its parent, package, and source root in the displayed window. Moreover, you can specify the entity type you want to create, whether it's a regular entity, an embeddable entity, or a mapped superclass. An ID is a mandatory attribute of any JPA entity, so JPA Buddy helps you to configure it. You can select one of the ID generation strategies and modify it according to your requirements. Here we go. Furthermore, JPA Buddy facilitates creating a parent or child entity in a single action. To do so, call the Generate menu and select Create Referenced Entity. The popped-up window allows you to configure the relationship type. We'll use Many-to-Many. You can use the JPA Palette Editor Toolbar or the Generate menu in IntelliJ IDEA to add new attributes and associations. JPA Buddy can help to generate basic attributes and associations, lifecycle callbacks, indexes, named queries, utility methods, fields for audit. Let's add a new attribute called Salary. We'll select the required type, enter its name, and configure any other parameters if necessary. Next, let's create an association. Since an employee can have many tasks, we'll select the one-to-many cardinality. Also, we need to generate an inverse attribute and JPA Buddy allows us to do it right from here. Moreover, it suggests us to generate equals and hash code methods right from here to improve the performance of the application. Here we go. What a time saver! Similarly, we can generate other elements presented in the JPA Palette, Editor Toolbar or IntelliJ IDEA Generate menu. Thank you for watching.